Hi guys and welcome to the rare bird overview of April 2024 in the Netherlands. In this video I go over all the records of the rarest birds that have been seen last month in our country. If you like these kind of videos then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also leave a comment. I would really like that. Enjoy the video! Leftovers from March were the Canadian ringed Russell's goose and its partner. April 1st was the last day they were seen in the Netherlands. On the 10th they were seen in northern Germany and subsequently in Sweden and Estonia. Let's see if they return this fall. Another rare geese that was still around was the Tiger Bean Geese of Stadskanaal, which was also last reported on the 1st. If you want to know how to identify the species, Check out the video about it, I've linked in the description. The lesser scorp from Stevens Veert was also still present and last reported on the 8th. Another one was found on the 6th by Rob van Bemmelen at the North Holland Tune Reserve. Then one was found near Utrecht on the 21st. The best chances of finding one yourself is to check groups of tufted ducks for a bird with a lighter mantle but the size of a tufted duck, a pointy rear head and a small black nail on the bill. If found, check a field guide for additional identification characters to safely exclude greater scorp and hybrids. For more info, check out the video I've linked in the description. The other ducks that keep coming back are the ringneck ducks from Hero Gewaad and the Kendermer Lake. On the 13th, a third bird was found by Tijmen Major at Brummen. This one concerned a female. The fourth bird at Nederweert missed a wing, so it's very likely to be an escape. And of course, Greenwing Teal would also at the party. Last month, I already told you April is the best month to find these species. I guess at least some birders listened as Mark Gauw van Wernert de Schelling, which was probably refound by Jaap Eerbans on a different spot on the island two days later. Korsi and Beke found one at the Gasthuis Bevang near Sierikzee, a pretty new hotspot for birding in the province of Zeeland. In the same province, Len van der Zande reported a second one on the 18th at the Sofia polder, while the bird from Sierikzee was still there. On the 21st, two were found, a flyby at Tessel by Ruud van Beusekom and one found at the Borkemerwaard by Sietse Bernardus. In May you still have a chance to find this species, just check every group of teal for one with a vertical stripe. The long-billed dowager from number 1 in Zeeland was last reported on the 13th. On the 17th, Mario Patikawa, I hope I pronounced his name right, found a or d bird at the Philips Dam. I wonder if it's the same bird as the one from number one and maybe also the same as the one I filmed at Tholen in 2022. I guess we'll never know for sure, but what I do know for sure is that it is time for a short built dowager in the Netherlands. On the 25th, the or a bird was again reported at number one after there were no reports since the 13th. Then on the 30th, a or d bird was found by Bram Ubels near Harlingen. The last leftover is the Jums leafwarbler from Utrecht. It was last reported on the 2nd. On April 1st, there was a first report of an alpine swift, but the observer didn't get any photos, so he uploaded the observation as uncertain. On the 6th, a flyby alpine swift at Breskens was photographed. The third one was a flyby on the 28th at Westkapelle. Another swift, of which I still need to get some footage, is the pellet swift, of which, on the 10th, the first ever spring record in the Netherlands was photographed. Another rare species I still need to get footage of is the red rum swallow, of which birds were reported on the 13th at the Amsterdamse Waterleidingduinen, the 27th at Collijnsplaat, and the 28th at Hoek van de Band.
On the 5th, the first tone curlew of the year was sound recorded during nocturnal recording. On the 7th, two other birds were recorded during nocturnal recording in Limburg. Makes you wonder how many we miss in a field. Let's see how many are found in a field and how many of them will be shared with the public. On the 6th, Rick van der Weide found the first Iberian Chifchaf of the year in the most southerly point of the country. This record is the earliest ever in the Netherlands. On the 12th, Jasper Zuter found one at Zwolle, and Bianca van der Berg found one on the 22nd at the Stroomgebied Molenlei. It took until the 8th before the falcated duck was seen again at the Landtong of Rosenburg. It was only seen again on the 26th. On the 10th, Bram Robol found a Pacific Golden Plover during a bird count at the Verdronken Land van Seftingen. It could only be twitched by other bird counters as the area is off limits for the general public. If you want to know more about how to identify the species, check out the video I've linked in the description. On the same day, a woodshed strike was seen in a garden in het veld. The exact location wasn't shared, so it's not known to me if the bird was seen on subsequent days. It was, however, only reported on the 10th. Another one, who was twitchable, although only for a day, was the bird at Rijnstangen on the 13th. Now the species can also still be found in May. In areas with loose bushes, check all the tops of the bushes for strikes. Woodshed strike is the only one with a red head that can be found here. On the 23rd, Karen Wallinga saw an alpine center in a garden in Drachten. Sadly, the bird couldn't be relocated. Despite all the records of the past years, still a species I have no footage of. On the 26th, during field work, Koenstork found an American golden plover at the mud flats near Stroo. The bird sadly wasn't seen from the mainland. Another American or Pacific golden plover was noticed during a migrant count at the hook van de band. On the 27th, the pot of gold stood at Stellendam, where both a Russell school and American widgeon was found. For the Russell school, already the fourth record in four years. Here on screen we see one of the two Russell's goals of 2021. The goal was at the same time independently found by George Tannis and Ken and Esther Kreifeld. While trying to refine the bird, Ken found the American Wigeon. I've now lost count of how many American Wigeons have been seen this year. On the same day, a black winged kite was present in Grijpskerke, but as far as I know, it wasn't directly reported, so wasn't twitched. One could see one at Breskens the next day, if one had made the decision to go there micro -couting. Not a bad idea, when a southeasterly wind is predicted. The southeasterly wind didn't only produce the aforementioned black winged kite, American or Pacific golden plover, alpine swift and red rump swallow, but also a citron wagtail at the Karafelden near Baarland. This could be twitched on the same evening and was also present for the entire next day. It turned out the bird had been ringed in Sweden in 2022, but as a female on this plumage, it clearly is a male. These shots were taken by Leonard Verheuvel a great nature photographer in the Netherlands. I have a link to his Instagram and website in the description. The last day of the month, 
gave us some good raptors, with a light morph bullet eagle at Schijndel, the second record of this species this year. The other good raptor, being a lesser spotted eagle, flying over a white site in Limburg. The species is seen annually, where twitchable birds stay rare indeed. The next day, the or a bird was seen again at Limburg, but more on that in the update of May. If you don't want to miss that one, then subscribe and I will see you in the next one.